Proctor hits unbeaten 144 with spoils shared. A century ground out in characteristic fashion by Warwickshire's Dom Sibley frustrated Northamptonshire's hopes of pushing for a win, the sting taken out of the game by the opener, and a draw now the most likely outcome heading into day four with Warwickshire trailing by just 55. There was an early wicket for the hosts, Miles trapped in front by Simon Kerrigan to leave the Bears down to their final wicket. McAndrew responded by whipping White to the leg side boundary to move his side onto 400, but they didn't get much further. The lovely loopy left arm stuff of Kerrigan found another victim, this time Hannon Dolby, out caught behind for four. The visitors were trailing by 46 heading into the third innings of the game. Sibley their star with 102, but important contributions from Burgess on 77, and McAndrew, who carried his bat after scoring 59. White led the Northamptonshire bowlers with four for 66. An intriguing innings lay ahead. Perhaps Warwickshire themselves had a sniff as Vasconcelos went caught behind in the first over of the innings. And Emilio Gay would follow soon after, caught behind for one off the Candrew, the Warwickshire window of opportunity slowly being prized open. The early wickets dried up. Northamptonshire started to hit out. Rickleton and Proctor found some success as they raced towards 50 off a little more than 10 overs. They steamed on, the lead racing above 100. They were going for it now, looking for the chance to set up a declaration, and so far, it was all going to plan. Their lead was 138 at lunch, a fast start paying dividends, hopes of victory increasing. Northamptonshire moved on to 100 after the break, Rickleton adding four to take them to the mark. Warwickshire couldn't find the opportunities they needed, and Proctor capitalised, up to 50, down the track to Bethel for his 10th four of the innings. Rickleton was slightly slower to the mark, his 50 came from 87 balls, but it would prove to be significant for the pair too, the third wicket worth 100, as Brooks' delivery was pushed through mid-on for another boundary. The lead was now well over 200, and Northamptonshire had broken the back of their efforts, all of the sting out of the game, with their designs on a cursory sporting declaration in the back of Ricardo Vasconcelos' mind. Proctor went up another gear, Bethel skewered for six twice in an over, then Lamb 2 flew beyond the boundaries as he raced towards a ton, wrought up with three quick runs scampered. The former Lancashire man needed just 126 balls to get there. Rickleton followed. His 100 scored off 154 deliveries and reached with a delicately placed four beyond the keeper. After plugging away for two and a half hours with no joy, Warwickshire finally found their third wicket. Rickleton outcaught by Benjamin off the bowling of Lamb, but surely it was too little, too late now. It was the only wicket they took in the afternoon session, Northamptonshire heading into the break with a 290-run lead. The question was, would they emerge after tea? Keogh and Proctor were back out there after the break, and in response, Warwickshire keeper Michael Burgess whipped off his pads, dropped the gloves, and ambled in for a bowl with the expected results. And unexpected ones too, smiles all round, apart from on the face of Rob Keogh, when Burgess found his edge and Miles took a great catch in the borrowed kit. Even he'd be the first to admit it was delightfully village stuff in a first-class setting. Davis wanted a go and got it too. Loose deliveries are plenty, but respect shown by Proctor. And the game finally petered out into the expected draw. Jovial handshake shared, a reminder for both teams of why they loved the game. They'd looked like little kids on the park in the closing stages. It wasn't the result either had wanted heading into the match, but solid performances nonetheless on a bit of a flat track at the county ground. Perhaps there will be a bit more spice in the wicket when Northamptonshire travel to the Spitfire ground and Warwickshire face Hampshire down at the Aegeus Bowl.